Garp's been around since 1996, and in 1997 it offered the FRM exam. Its purpose at the time uh, was to look at the financial risk management profession, develop educational programs around that profession, as well as networking opportunities for those who were just starting in a nascent way, getting involved in financial risk management, and then to build and to support the building of the financial risk management profession globally. The FRM is a, is a product of, of GARB, and the G in GARB is global. And the FRM, I mean, from its inception, has been a global certification. It's designed to be both holistic in terms of the areas of risk that it covers, but also holistic in the sense of it, 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 it crosses uh, geographic boundaries. It, it attempts to you know, address the risk needs from all different geographies. And so um, that's been uh, fortunately reflected in the demand for the certification. Um, we have people coming to the FRM from all around the world. I mean, literally from, from Shanghai to Chicago, um, you know, South Africa, Moscow. It's, it's a truly a global certification. FRM is the most recognized certification in financial risk management. Compared to other certifications that cover a wide range of topics, FRM is more in-depth and focus on the management of risk. Uh, FRM certification sets you apart in the global marketplace and lets your employers know that your knowledge has been validated by international professional standards. In terms of the knowledge earned, um, the FRM covers a, a, a wide range of, of topics. In part one, we have four areas. We have uh, foundations of risk management, uh, quantitative analysis, financial markets and products, and valuations. In part two, we have uh, five different areas. We have market risk, credit risk, operational risk, investment management, and uh, current issues. If someone meets an FRM, they should understand that, that this person has, has earned, has demonstrated their mastery of, of a substantial body of, of knowledge. But more than that, it should also signal that this person dedicated the time and the effort to achieve the FRM. It's a rigorous two-part examination process. It's, it's fair, but challenging. And so for someone to, um, you know, the, um, the hours that someone spends um, devoted to learning the material, to preparing for the exam, is non-trivial. So that should signal to someone that this is someone who takes this subject very seriously. They chose to do this. They are committed to this profession, to this perspective of looking at a situation and saying, what are the risk factors that I need to be aware of? How can I you know, think of this in, in a way to, um, you know, to um, protect my firm, to um, you know, protect the portfolio? The knowledge areas covered in the FRM program is very practical. Uh, GARP conducts a global practice analysis every three years. It is an extensive survey of uh, risk professionals globally uh, that investigate who they are, what they do, and what they need to know in their job. Uh, so FRM certification is very practitioner-oriented, and risk professionals can easily apply the knowledge they've learned from the program globally. In 2019, we had over 80,000 uh, registrations for the FRM exams. In the past three years, we've essentially had 20% growth um, year over year uh, for the past three years. Since 2010, when we went from a one-part exam to a two-part exam, we've had um, compound annual growth rate of about 16%. So um, demand has been strong. I mean, the market speaks and the market has received it well. Um, not just in terms of overall volume, but in, in, in terms of breadth of, of demand. I mean, during my, my time here at GARP and during my time working uh, with the FRM, sometimes it's, it's been quite surprising, um, the stories that, that I hear, the, the stories that I'm told of people coming to me and saying that this helped me get that job, this helped me move up in my organization, this helped me do a job that I was not previously um, either qualify for or, or, or comfortable taking on. And these are, you know, people coming from, um, you know, a, a range of, 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 of backgrounds, people who are actively in risk management, people who might be in portfolio management, 
um, you know, people who um, uh, might even be in sales uh, who say that, you know, this has, has really helped me. Our mission is to promote and to establish the profession of financial risk management on a global basis. And I think you could say that at least through today, we've been successful in uh, pursuing and in uh, executing on that mission.